Hey guys, it's Dayang and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing the H&M Beauty Haul. For those of you who are living here in Singapore, okay, a couple of weeks ago, if you may or may not know, H&M here in Singapore has just launched their beauty line. Of course, I have to take advantage of it and bought quite a number of stuff. Okay, just a very quick summary, alright. Uh, it was first launched in the Orchard Building H&M. Uh, the week that it was launched, they were having like a 20% promotion for every 5 or more pro beauty products purchased. And then the following week, I think it was launched at One Raffles Place, H&M. And I actually went to the One Raffles Place one because I only discovered that there was a promotion when the One Raffles Place H&M uh, just launched their beauty line. It was this particular weekday, I was there, like I ended work really early and then I just rushed to One Raffles Place and shopping for makeup was such a breeze guys there was no one no one if you guys have followed me on snapchat you would have already seen the footage of me you know snapping the beauty section area there was basically no one i took like about one hour to one and a half hours just admiring every single stuff at the counters and and i luck two bags back this video is not to show off uh, the stuff which I got but rather to let you guys know or to to share with you if you have not like gone to H&M just like a heads up of what you can expect or what kind of products to expect so if you want to see uh, the different types of products which are available or the stuff which I have purchased just continue watching I know I bought actually quite a number of eye products so let's get that out of the way first firstly I want to show you guys their eyeshadows and they actually call it as their infinite impact eye color with vivid pigments and captivating shades and I actually got six of them. The eyeshadows actually retail for $9.90. Uh, so I'm actually going to write down all of the prices of each product in the info box down below. And of course, all of the products that I've purchased. And do take note that all of these things, I actually got it for 20% off. So of course, I actually paid lesser or lower than its original price. This is actually how the packaging of the eyeshadow looks like. It's very lightweight as a lot of YouTubers actually said. But I really love the combination of gold and white on it. So this first color. Um, it's actually in the shade Gingerbread. It's a very, very pretty between a um, medium and a dark brown, which I personally feel that it's great for the outer corner. Or if you want to apply it on your eye socket or as a transition color, you can do that as well. So I'm actually just going to run through this very quickly because I'm not going to talk about how I feel about each product because that is going to take way too long. Okay, the next color is actually in Candied Almond. It's a slightly lighter brown as compared to the previous one which I showed and it's gorgeous. I love putting this on my eye socket and I've actually just tried a few of their eyeshadows and oh my god guys, they are so buttery. Like, it is of very great quality, alright? And with the price that you're paying, it's amazing and they have so many colors. This next shade is in Ginger Snap which I would describe as like a uh, coppery like a shimmery copper color very pretty as well another shade that is matte which i got um, is something which i don't think i have this is in the shade canyon clay oh my god i can like totally imagine putting this on my eye socket it is so gorgeous so freaking gorgeous gorgeous this is a very beautiful like a pinkish shimmery uh Pinkish burgundy color, I would say, but it's nothing too crazy. This is in the shade Love Letter. I love the name so much. I put this on the other day and it stays all day. Okay, the very last shade that I got was actually um, recommended by Kathleen Lights and this is in the shade Bachi Ditama. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it because I have heard of it before. Very gorgeous. Um, Oh my god, I don't even know how to describe this shade. It's so pretty, but I've never tried I've not tried this out yet. So I'm pretty excited for this. Bachi Didama, I like that name. Next two is actually their cream fusion eye color. They actually come in like pots. Something like the MAC um what do you call that? The MAC paint pots, yes, that's what it's called. Me being me, I got all eye colors like the neutral shades because I know that those are the safest and I know for sure that I will be using every single one of them and also for the fact that I want to try uh, to test out the formulation and see whether I like it if I want to purchase more other vibrant colors I may do that but not now so we'll see how it is back to this and the first shade that I got is in Sirocco 
Okay, I've not tried this one, this one yet. Very beautiful neutral color as well and has a little bit of shimmers inside. It's really perfect for your eyelids. And the next shade is, this was actually the very first shade that I uh, swatched when I was there the other time. And this is a Countess. It's like a very nice pinkish skin color and I know that I can actually just apply this on its own and put a little bit of that maybe gingerbread or the other shade which I cannot remember what on my eye socket and I'm good to go. Three more eye products. The first one is the Fluid Hues Eye Color which happens to be the eye color that I have or rather the color that I have on my lips right now. This actually somehow reminds me of the Moonshot Jelly Pot, the formulation itself but the packaging itself is different. Comes in like a wand and this color is gorgeous. This is in shifting scents. There are actually a couple more colors that I really want to try, but I want to I, but I just pick out one first because I want to see how it works. And it seems that I really really like it. Okay, so I may pick up more after this. Ah, uh, we'll see, we'll see. In case if I have not mentioned this, all of the HM beauty products they are below $20. This is the Aqua Liquid Eyeliner and I got it in the shade All That Jazz. Comes in like this kind of packaging with a wand, like a very fine tip wand. I do not know why I got this but I'll work something out, don't worry. And it's actually a very beautiful gold colour. Next is the Colour Essence Eye Pencil. And I got a black colour which is in the shade Panther. I actually want to try this on today and I just want to apply it on my tight line but I'm just so afraid that it will smudge. But the thing is that when I tried it at the back of my hand the other time and when I came home, it was still intact. Uh, so I may try this on when I'm at home the whole day and we'll see whether it will smudge or not. Because I've been really on a hunt for a cold liner or a pencil liner to apply it on my tight line and water line and will like you know it will it will not smudge. Even the Urban Decay 24 7 one it smudges like crazy. So I do not know how this works. The very last eye product that I got is actually the glitter dust. And the reason why I got this is because I have no glitters at all in my collection. And I know for the fact that it's very, very hard to find affordable glitters here in Singapore and this is only $9.90 and of course I got it for about $8 after the 20% off. There are actually about 5 or 4 or 5 shades if I'm not wrong and I decided to pick this colour out and this is in the shade Catherine Wheel. It's basically a a really gorgeous rose gold color and I've not tried this out yet. Okay, now moving on to the lip products, I actually pick out three of their lipsticks. The lipsticks are actually called the cream lip color. What I noticed, they have a wide range of selection. Like they have like different, different, different shades. From what I noticed, they are all cream, like 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 Max Cream Sheen, uh, you know, lipstick. They are all of that formulation. I have not I don't know whether I didn't notice or they don't really have any matte lipsticks. I may have overlooked. So the first one is actually in the shade Rust Me and I believe Kathleen Lights has this as well. Um, trust me, this was actually the most wearable colour that they have to offer apart from the nude. This is actually the closest to a mauve that I can find which is the shade Rust Me. I have really tried this on for about two or three times. It is so creamy. So this is actually in the shade Rust Me. For the other two shades, I want to get something that I do not have in my collection. And I think I don't have any of these shades. The first one is actually in the shade Heyday. I really, really want to try a brown lip colour because I do not have any. When I try this on, it looks like a slightly darker nude. Uh, when I put this on my lips, I kind of like how it looks actually. The next uh, cream lip colour that I got is in the shade Brunette Ambition. Oh, did I mention that I really like the packaging of the lipstick? Again, the white and gold packaging. The bullet itself is beautiful. Okay, this is another uh, darker nude, which is slightly of like a purplish undertone, I think. I may want to go back to H&M Beauty today because I'm going out today. I may pick out some some other stuff as well so if i do i'll just include it include them at the end of this video and i may want to get a darker brown color we'll see another lip product that i got is actually their gossamer lip stain i don't know whether i pronounce it correctly gossamer gossamer i don't know okay so i got it in the shade center of attention so basically what this is is it's just a lip stain 
and it is in like a hot pink color they have a couple of very neutral wearable shades i don't think that those kind of color will actually stay on my lips so i got a very nice hot pink color and i tried this on the other day and it stays even after removing it with a um, you know, with an oil based makeup remover, it does not budge. The next one is the lip color to go. I pick out a very natural everyday shade. Uh, this smells so good. It smells like candy. I have watched a particular YouTuber saying that uh, it actually depends on the back of this pencil. If it is patent, means it has like a more uh, creamier consistency which means it is of a different finish like the finish itself is quite glossy but if it is matte then it has a matte finish this is the shade that I got oh anyway it's in Bon Vivante Bon Vivante okay, the very last lip product that I got yeah it, yeah it can be considered a lip product it is the clean canvas lip scrub all along i have been using the one from lush but i it's been a while since i last used that because i have totally ran out of that and i believe that the one from lush it actually costs more than 20 dollars definitely oh my god it smells of like toffee and butterscotch i'm very very excited to try this out because it's been so long since i scrubbed my lips so Alright, now moving on to the face style. So the first thing that I got is actually the cover-up concealer and this is in the shade Amber. I have not tried this out yet so I really really hope that this works for me. And if it is good, I will probably get like a shade lighter for my under eye area. Next is also a concealer and this is their Radiant Concealer Pen in the shade Soft Sand. I believe that you can actually use this as an under eye concealer slash a highlighter just to brighten up your under eye area. And it actually comes in a click pen like that. And I kind of regret pressing that because some of the product actually came out. Oh, I also got this Mattifying Face Primer. I have not tried this out yet. Uh, I, if you know me, I am always attracted by the word matte. So anything that is matte, I will buy it. <laughs> It actually comes in this kind of squeeze tube which I like for a primer so it's very very easy. I tried the tester the other time. At the start it feels really tacky but as you massage it onto the skin, as time passes, uh, you will feel that it will get absorbed into your skin and it will have like a very nice matte finish. I also got a powder. This is their True Matte Finishing Powder. Again, the word matte and I got it in the shade um, Almond Beige and I believe this is the third last darkest colour. I've already tried this out the other time. I have not tried this as a blotting or a touch up powder because I just use this to um, set my foundation and my concealer and I like that it has a mirror on it so I can just carry this around. I also got two of their blushes which they call it as the Pure Radiance Powder Blusher. I got two of the shades. First one uh, is actually in the shade soft russet. I really like the packaging because it comes in a hexagon shape. A lot of beauty YouTubers actually say that they don't like because of the fact that there's no mirror. I mean, I'm fine with it because I don't carry my blusher around. Initially, I thought that it's matte but actually it's not matte. <laughs> it has a little bit of sheen to it which I'm okay because they are not shimmers so I'm totally fine. And then the next shade that I got is actually in rosy brown which is very very pretty. Both actually looks more or less the same. These are usually the kind of shade that I will go to for a blusher. I actually pick out two of their beauty tools. The first one is actually the precision sponge and this is also a precision sponge. I don't know what's the difference. I think it's basically probably just the shape itself. I've not tried this out yet. Uh, it feels pretty rigid though actually, not as bouncy as the Beauty Blender but this is only $3.90. This feels more like a Beauty Blender. I will see how this works, um, like how they apply my foundation and concealer, you know, just to blend everything out. I got a bunch of face masks. I actually bought, I can't remember how many but while I was actually looking through stuff, one of the girls from H&M actually gave me this, this thing in which if you purchase more than 5 items, you are entitled to a face mask for free. I actually got a bunch of face masks for myself. So since I actually bought so many, right, uh, they actually gave me 3 face masks for free. They actually comes in like this kind of capsule. So I got a pomegranate and mango which is a pore cleansing face mask with raspberry and vitamin E for tired skin. Okay, the second one is witch hazel and willow herb. It's a soothing face mask with sweet almond oil for blemish prone skin. 
And next is the charcoal and volcanic soil. It's a pore cleansing face mask with sea salt for blemish prone skin. Next is manuka honey. It's a cleansing peel off mask with chamomile and jasmine blossom for combination skin. Next is witch hazel. It's a cleansing face mask with rosemary and tea leaf for oily skin. This is the dead sea minerals. It's a reviving face mask with bergamot. What the heck is that? Bergamot oil and Fucus seaweed for tired skin. Next is spearmint and enchinacea, I believe. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a purifying peel off mask with gentian or gentian root extract for blemish prone skin. Okay, this is aloe and yarrow. It's a replenishing face mask with vitamin E and tea leaf for dry skin. I don't have dry skin, so probably I'll give this to my mom. This is a charcoal and pumice. Pumice. I don't know. Exfoliating face mask with walnut and fig for tired skin. And last but not least, this is the cucumber and aloe. It's a cooling peel off mask with passion flower and lotus blossom for tired skin. Okay, and last but not least, I actually have two of their nail polishes. I've heard a lot of good things about their nail polishes. So I decided to try out two which I don't have this kind of shades. The first one is actually like a very beautiful greyish color it's a very light gray color so this is in the shade top notch i like that name top notch next is a beautiful pretty milk tea color and it's the shade class act i don't have anything like this i opened it up the other time to try it out and i really like how um flat and broad the bristles of the brush is because i think that it makes application really really easy so we'll see how that works Okay guys, so that's it for my H&M beauty haul. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this haul. And if you guys want to see how any of this product works, please, please write in, in the comment box down below and tell me which product you want to see me using in a video. And I'll probably do another video on that. So if you guys have enjoyed watching and of course if you have found this video kind of helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, you know, if you want to see more videos from me, of course, just click the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! While we were in Hong Kong, we actually grabbed a lot of Hong Kong snacks. So today, we are going to try all of the snacks.